Hello everybody, it's Tea Party Cthulhu and welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery and Blue Rescue Team! How's that for an action-packed intro, running out of the house at full speed? In the last episode, we made a few preparations before we're going to head off to Mount Thunder to go and rescue Shiftry from the clutches of Zapdos, who we met at the end of Silent Chasm. Uh, we actually got mail right before I started this episode. I was gonna do some weird intro with the mailman, but I think we've seen him enough. Uh, so that's some extra rescue team jobs. Now, what I think I'm gonna do this time is we are gonna be heading out to Mount Thunder this episode. Uh, I believe our team is pretty much strong enough. Level 16 is good. Yeah, level 18. We're definitely strong enough. It's, uh, it's gonna be kind of a tough time given that I'm a water type Pokemon. And as you can probably guess, Mount Thunder is gonna be filled with electric type Pokemon. But what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a buddy. I'm going to do one of the Makahita Dojo dungeons off screen. Uh, I'm gonna put on screen some post-production notes about which one I did and what Pokemon are in there, uh, just so you guys know for completeness sake. And who am I gonna bring along? Well, well, I would love to bring along Hakabashi, but sadly he's gonna be weak to electric. Uh, I think we probably... We don't really have anybody that isn't weak to electric. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna bring my buddy back. This might be a stupid plan, but you know what? It it'll work. I I promise you it'll work. He's pretty strong. I'm I'm not gonna say the the e word as to why he's actually strong in this game, but uh, you guys you guys know that I like Farfetch'd a lot. So uh, I'm going to go take care of one of the little dungeons. Uh, maybe do some last minute preparations, do some item management, and I'll meet you guys when I'm ready to go take on Mount Thunder. Alright, so while looking through the Kecleon shopwares, I found a really interesting move that, god, I wish I had enough money to buy this. I might actually go sell stuff just to buy this. This is Return. Anyone who's played the main series Pokemon games knows that Return is a really, really, really freaking good move. Now, in the main series Pokemon games, it scales off of your Pokemon's happiness. Happiness doesn't exist in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, uh, like a lot of other mechanics from the mainline series. And no, I'm not going to say the E word about what doesn't exist yet. Uh, there are a few more, maybe I'll go into them when we're going through Mount Thunder. Uh, but as you see, this actually scales off of your user's IQ. Now, I've maybe considered getting this for Mudkip, uh, Skipper. Uh, I guess our IQ isn't that high. I do have two white gummies right here that I'm gonna feed to Hakabashi. Uh, so maybe not a bad idea to give it just like a really strong move that it, uh, mixes with its height, but I don't have a lot of money. I'm probably going to try and sell things to see if I can get enough, and uh, probably grab that return TM, and maybe teach it to Hakabashi. Let's see, is there anything I can sell? I'll, I'll try and sell the scarves. I want to keep all of the gummies, because they're going to be really useful, and we are going to need pretty much max IQ on at least somebody. Uh, I mean, obviously, probably our starter, but... Oh, the gravel rocks are worth so much, too. But, uh... Yeah, I... Oh, okay. That's plenty enough. So, yeah. I'm going to pick up the return TM. I'm going to give it to Hakabashi. And uh, that's going to be a really strong move. I might play around with linking moves as well, actually. Now, another thing, whenever you use a TM, uh, which they're lovely rainbow-colored in this game, it turns into a used TM. This TM cannot be put into storage. It can be restored using the move Recycle. So, if you use the move Recycle, it will basically restore all your TMs that you have in your inventory. Uh, you can imagine that being really useful because you don't have to buy them every time. I'm pretty sure you can still sell them. Yes, they're worth one... Uh, one Pokey. I almost said one dollar. Yeah, they're worth one Pokey. You can also just trash them if you don't want them. Um, and they can't be stored, so, you know, uh, kind of not so good right there. But I think all my preparations are done. I'm gonna go put away all my money. Uh, maybe grab a few more heals. And then I'll meet you at Mount Thunder. This is the foot of Mount Thunder. I wonder, is Alakazam's team already on their way? Zapdos. Sounds very tough. I'm, I'm shaking. I can't be scared now. Our objective is simple. We're rescuing Ship Tree. Skipper, let's try our best. And here we are into Mount Thunder, kind of the first big story dungeon, I'd say. And uh, it, it's definitely, it's a real humdinger, y'all. That's what I'm going to say. Uh, luckily, a lot of the Pokemon here, I might have overprepared a bit. They're not all that strong. Uh, Nidoran can definitely be annoying with Poison Point. So if you make contact with it, you can get poisoned. I'm pretty sure that's what it has. Uh, another thing I should say, 
uh, and talking about mystery engine mechanics that are different, is uh, Poison Point. I don't think I actually mentioned this. Um, have we had a bio with a Pokemon that has Poison Point yet? I don't think we have. Um, is that Poison Point can only activate uh, if you are adjacent to the Pokemon that has it. So even if a move makes contact, so see, um, thank you Sparky actually for the assist. Uh, Sparky's quick attack, it could not have possibly procced uh, Poison Point because it was not adjacent to it. Even if the move makes contact, and wow, that was fast. Uh, Weedle wants to join the team. Well, we got a, a brand new team member here. Sadly, it's a Weedle. Uh, you know, I should have checked actually if we have already recruited a Weedle because we might have. Um, I don't, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure no. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm pretty sure no because this is the, f is this the first? No, it, they did appear in Silent Castle. We did not recruit them though. Uh, now I have to make a name for it though, so I'll I'll be back in a bit. So this is the name that uh, maybe some Yu-Gi-Oh players out there will know. Uh, this is Amnesia, one of the Ogdo a bit, uh, not Ogdo bits. Ogdo bits is actually the Architect's boss monster. The Ogdo Attic, uh, one of their like main deck control monsters. Pretty cool. I do like the archetype a lot. I've never actually run them, but um, I fought a lot of terrifying players in Master Let's Play Ogdos. And these Nidorans are actually kind of strong. Oh, this might be a problem. Okay. Uh, okay, good job, Weedle. Weedle probably would have gotten one shot by that Pidgeotto. Uh, Pidgeotto is an evolved Pokemon, so uh, it's gonna be quite a bit stronger than what we've seen. And I know, I said the E word. Ooh, here's a good thing to pick up. Also, yeah, I need to give these to Hakabashi right now. I wonder, can I actually have him? I don't know if I can have him just eat the gummy right now. Maybe if I throw it at him? I'm gonna- I'm gonna try this, I've never tried this. Okay. Oh my god, it's learning all the IQ skills. Okay, so this- this is how you're not going to want to feed items to your team members. Um, let's take... Wait, can you just use it? Okay, that's a way more sensible way to do that. Here's a link box. This is gonna be a special item that we're gonna start seeing in dungeons. A marvelous box that enables the user to link and de-link moves. So this lets you do the capabilities of the link shop when you're in a dungeon. Which is, uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm, again, I never really made much use of this, of the link mechanic when I was a kid. But, um, I hope that kind of changes in this playthrough. Uh, another thing I should note, this, uh, this may be kind of spoilery-ish. Uh, don't worry about using too much of your resources for this dungeon for like the first part. Uh, you will be getting healed at some point in this dungeon, so yeah, don't worry. Uh, double kick sucks. Compared to my wonderful Hakabashi's Fury attack, which does so much damage. Especially, um, I believe... Didn't I give it... No, I didn't give it an item. I don't have an item to give it. I thought I gave it... Oh, I did give it an Orin Berry. Ooh, we're gonna start encountering Electrikes. I think... Haven't we seen Electrike before, though? They have Static for their ability, which is really annoying. Okay, I see somebody approaching from behind us. Uh, but while we're dungeon crawling like this, uh, there is... I was talking about before, like, different uh, Mystery Dungeon mechanics that are uh, different from the main series Pokémon games. And, um... Nice, I like the... I like the slow sound, I like the wow! Uh... One that I should note, actually, um, and no, I'm not gonna say the E word again. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep reminding myself of that so I don't say it. Is that uh, we saw at the beginning of the game, uh, we had a nature, uh, and that's how we decided what starter Pokemon that we were. Uh, anybody who's played main series Pokemon games probably knows what a nature is, uh, but it's basically just an added thing that they added in Generation Three to make Pokemon a little more unique. Uh, it changes our stat distribution in the main series Pokemon games. Um, can I actually... Oh, okay. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do, actually? Uh, give the salmon this, yeah. And, uh, natures instead in Mystery Dungeon, uh, they do exist. Obviously, they exist. We saw that we had one for ourselves. I mean, look at all of our team members. They actually... What are their natures? Does it say? I don't think it's going to say their natures, but 
Uh, we clearly saw that they existed. Uh, but natures do exist in Mystery Dungeon. Uh, they do not have any effect on your stats, though, in Mystery Dungeon. As well, uh, anybody who's playing main series Pokemon games knows what an IV or an EV is. I'm not talking about the Pokemon, I'm talking about individual values and effort values, which also increase your stat growth in the main series Pokemon games, depending on what Pokemon you fight. Uh, instead, in Mystery Dungeon, they do not exist. So, uh, stats actually go up by a fixed amount every single time you level up, and there is no variation on it. Aside from, uh, the various ways that we saw to change it earlier. Here's a scar. Special ban. Is this plus special attack, I'm guessing? Oh, um... I, I would love to switch this, actually. Uh, I'll keep the link box just because it's cool. Uh, but right now... I actually have Sparky having the Peach a Scarf. Uh, I have the- I switched the Zinc band for me because I think I actually have some higher special defense in Sparky. I should. So, uh, it'll just allow me to kind of take a little things more. That was- that was amazing. I still, I still love that sound effect. Whoa! It's so funny. Oh, oops. Luckily, we're, we're taking out these Pokémon. Uh, another thing I should note with, with linked moves, actually, now that we're talking about it, is that uh, you notice that I don't have any moves linked. Uh, I actually linked together Hakabashi's moves so that uh, Leer and Peck combo into each other, uh, because Leer is going to lower the defense, and then Peck is obviously a physical move that's going to do quite a bit of damage. Uh, it might have done better to do it with Return, but Return has less PP, so I didn't want to just run out of PP like immediately. Because that would be a major problem. This dungeon, it's not overly long. I think it's actually shorter than Oddity Cave is. Uh, but it's definitely not short. Step on... Wait, don't we have a gravel rock? Oh no. Oh, I dropped the gravel rock. Luckily, we're getting money. And it also... It actually overwrote... It actually overwrote the sound effect of it. <laughs> Funnily enough. Wow. What does that sound effect remind you of? It reminds me of, like... God, what? It's something. There's some, like, game that has a sound effect that's like it. <gasps> gummy. I see a gummy. Gummy alert. Anybody else a big fan of gummies? I'm like a gummy fanatic, kind of. Like one of my favorite kinds of candies. Especially, like, sour gummy worms. Those are the best. Oh, we're gonna start encountering some pretty strong Pokemon here, like Electabuzz. Uh, anybody that's used an Electabuzz in a game definitely knows that this Pokemon's pretty good. Uh, I personally, in my last playthrough of Platinum, I used an Electivire, and that thing basically could have almost soloed the entire game. Oh, White Gummy! Hey, Hagabashi, where are you? Uh, this is for you. IQ Rose Status Checker. We're seeing a lot of new IQ skills. I think even we don't have these, do we? Target has a status problem, not new moves that cause the same status problem. Um, that would be good if we had a use for it. But I think we're good to, to just keep proceeding through the floors. We're actually making some pretty good progress here. Ooh, we're gonna start encountering bee drills. Um, <laughs> great, Amanesia is gonna encounter its strongest form. I do like bee drill. Bee drill is so cute. I just wish that it wasn't like bad. Oh, oh, he just threw the blast seed. <laughs> wow, that's okay. Good job. Um, yeah, Amanesia is kind of weak, and it ate our reviver seed. Um, I'm so sorry, Amnesia, that you had to leave us in this dungeon, but you were kind of weak. So, um, I just wish that you didn't eat our Reviver Seed along with it. I I maybe should have said no, but I don't know, I didn't want to say no. Ooh, Ampharos. Anybody that's played the Generation 2 games use somebody from this family. I gotta be honest, I think this Pokemon's kind of overused. But, uh, it's cute. I'll give it that. I would love to get an Electabuzz. I, actually, I think we already have Electabuzz, don't we? No, oh, sadly, yeah, Paralysis. Yeah, Paralysis, I was also talking about Mystery Dungeon Game Mechanics, how speed doesn't exist, but travel speed does. Um, paralysis just halves your travel speed, whereas in the main series Pokemon games, it would have your speed. Uh, it's pretty much just as devastating, really. Sparky, can you please help out? Oh my god, there's so many Electabuzzes. Luckily, that... Was it a Thunder Punch they did? I wasn't even looking, actually. I did, like, no damage. Ooh, Hakabashi level up. Leveled up, I did. I haven't actually looked at the learn sets for any of the Pokémon that we have. 
like especially like Sparking Skipper. And I keep wondering when they're actually going to get like halfway usable moves, because like all their movesets suck. Like they're all terrible. Skipper's been stuck with Mud Slap forever. Mud Slap and Water Gun in Great, Great Mist. Wow, this might hurt. Well, luckily, um, okay, the Quick Attack will hurt, but like a, a Thunder Punch, this is, um, I don't know why I'm, this is like the game mechanics episode, but uh, I guess people who, who only played the newer Pokemon games wouldn't understand. Uh, moves, prior to Generation 4, uh, whether they're physical or special, solely was based on their type, and um, Electric is always a special type. So even Thunder Punch, I believe it does make contact, but it is not a physical move, which again is a really stupid game mechanic. I'm so glad that they changed that. What is this? Okay, just a power band. Um, I should be giving this to Hakabashi, actually. Because he is a physical attacker. Oh, he's in position. Alright, this is for you. Ah, uh, your Fury attack does nothing. See, so look at the combo. They actually use a Link move for once. So you see that Leer plus Peck did a lot of damage. Even I was not one... I almost said OTK. Even I can't OTK, like, uh, an Electabuzz, and uh, a Farfetch can take care of it, no problem. He's pretty strong, actually. Um, I might have to abandon... Well, now I don't have to abandon the Peach's Scarf. It is a very good item, I'll give it that. But I'd rather have stat ups than... Uh, a f not effect, uh, what's the word? Status condition immunity. Although that is pretty good on its own. Can we please find the exit? Like, somewhere? Gligar. Doesn't... Gligar also has poison point, right? I think? Please combo. No, it's gonna go for basic attack. I think. Wait, isn't there an IQ skill to like have it prefer to use? Oh, Gligar wants to join the team. All right, this is another cool Pokemon. Uh, doesn't have its evolution of Generation Four, but Gligar is still a really cool Pokemon. Um, but now comes the worst part. I have to name it. This isn't going to be a name that also doesn't make sense to most people, Gee, but uh, I'm hoping at least one person has played Blaze Blue out there. I don't know why I'm just naming them after various media franchises. Okay, you gotta prove your worth right now. Oh god, it's it's not surviving this. Uh, I'm gonna have to like throw a blast seed at it. Try and save my buddy. Oh my god. Please kill. Oh, thank you. Good. Okay, we need to escape. Gligar uh, is kind of a glass cannon Pokemon, so that I just, it's not that I didn't expect it, uh, but it's still kind of worrying. Uh, maybe I should give one to Gi as well. Uh, I don't have to give it the Peach Scar because it is a poison type. It is actually, I believe it's the first poison type that we've seen. Or, well, the first one that we've recruited at least. They're, I do like poison types, they're kind of cool. We're seeing some like different dungeon generation here too, which is kind of neat. Because uh, this is definitely abnormal for what we've seen before. Can you please like do something, Gligar? I, I'm pretty sure Gligar has, le uh, not levitate, has a poison point as his ability. Uh, also, I'm, I'm just gonna... Okay, you know what, I can hold out. I, I believe this dungeon is 10 floors. I'm pretty sure. Oh god, that hurts. So I'm gonna try and maybe hold out for one more floor. Oh my god, really? Can you stop? Okay, nice paralyze, actually. Oh my god. Can you please do something? Thank you. So luckily, if uh, I can use the B plus A weight to kind of recover health. It does take a lot of belly though, as you see we're actually almost down again. There's always a lot to worry about in this game, it's a very surprisingly active game. Uh, I can't do anything in this main Main Mainetric is a freaking ridiculously strong Pokemon, so. Also uh, has Lightning Rod for its ability, which means that Sparky probably shouldn't be hitting it with Electric-type moves. I'm 
I'm gonna try and hold out for like one more floor. I believe this is like a 10 floor dungeon, so. Ooh, hello. What is this? Black gummy? Is this dark types? I'm guessing? That would make sense. Okay, we don't have any dark types yet. Have we even encountered a dark type? We've encountered things that do the E word into dark types, but never a dark type directly. That Pokemon would be Poochiana, by the way, if you didn't know. A little Pokemon trivia. Can you please, like, do something, Sparky? Can you please do something that isn't that? I wonder if there's an IQ skill that I can give Sparky that's, like, favored damaging moves. Um... Gligar is part ground type. So... Wait, attack didn't go down? Did it fail, or does it have... Does Gligar have clear body for its ability? I... I guess it has clear body? It's kind of strange. That Wow, not very effective, did 44 damage. I believe I actually talked about the type effect in this last episode. I don't I don't want to remember last episode. I feel like the commentary on it was just so bad. I don't know what was wrong with me. Uh, luckily, uh, I believe the Peach Cards doesn't do anything to Pokemon that are already poisoned. I also think I left it, didn't I? So I'm just going to heal off of it. Oh, thank you, Ampharos. Yeah, does Gligar actually have clear bot? I guess I could check my own Gligar. Because again, I said, Mystery Dungeon Pokemon, they always have both abilities, which is probably the coolest thing about this whole game. Oh, it has Hyper Cutter, okay. Yeah, okay, I don't know how I didn't remember that. I've never, admittedly, I've never used a Gligar, or any member of the Gligar family. So, uh, you know, I wouldn't really know. Oh, I have that massive gravel rock in my inventory. I can't wait to throw that out. Okay, your turn to shine, Sparky. As in, like, please do things. Because I'm trying to hold out until I get a heal. Oh my god. It's a good thing Sparky's, like, dumb. Your Thundershock is not gonna be very effective, but it's still gonna do more damage than a basic attack, I promise you. I'm literally just holding BNA right now, praying that he does anything. Oh my god, please stop. This, okay, Sparky, do you have the IQ skill, please? Oh my god, it doesn't. Exclusive move user. That, I mean, that could be good, but I mean, basic attacks are still important. Oh, I'm just gonna throw the peep. I have a feeling that, oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. <laughs> I threw the scarf at it. Um, yeah, don't do that. Where, oh, I don't like this. Uh, I don't want to... You know what, I'll just attack it. Now I'll just swap places. And hope that Sparky does anything. I guess I could... Well, no, it's not going to take any damage from anything electric. Sparky, can you please do something? And not that. Why is... why are all the people on my team stupid? I'll just take this. Whatever. Yes, continue to use double team. It's not gonna do anything. Oh, here's a new Pokemon that we haven't seen yet. Uh, this is Growlithe. Growlithe's color on his sprite is so weird in this game. Oh my god, that Fury attack does so much damage. I can't believe I finally found a game where Farfetch'd is good. It makes me so happy. Besides Surfetch'd existing. Okay, yeah, that's great, Sparky. You guys have no idea just like how happy it makes me. Does Growlithe have flame body for its ability? I think it does. Kind of scary. It would be kind of scary if if Hakabashi got burned, because it is a physical attacker. I can't believe we're actually holding out without using this max elixir yet. I probably could, like no problem, because we are getting a lot of money. 
Also, I need to eat another apple. And we still have a bunch of orbs if anything goes really, really bad. Oh. I might just throw the gravel rock at this guy. I might really throw the gravel rock at this guy. This is gonna do like no damage though. Uh, I did 20 damage, that's not bad. I wonder how much damage the 99 is gonna do. I I, I think you guys know who we're gonna be fighting at the end of this, and uh, I can't wait to use it on him. Okay, please do not die. Thank you. Oh my god, that fury attack is so strong. I have to keep like complex positioning in mind to try and get my Pokemon to actually go around the enemy. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage. Wait, it's not very effective. Isn't Ampharos just electric type? I thought flying was normal on electric. It was just the other way around that it was super effective. I don't know, am I forgetting my type chart? Oh my god, this is a bad situation. I may have to pop the max elixir right now. This is like a worst case scenario. I'm just gonna throw the blast seed. That does like no damage. You know what? It might be worth it to do this. Just so that Hakabashi can attack as well. If it would do anything. Oh, this is really bad. If Hakabashi would actually do anything, this would be pretty nice. Does he have the IQ skill? Yes. Okay. Yes. Please use it. Please just, like, take out somebody. I know Peck can go around corners. I know that you can go around corners. Okay, you know what? Do you think you can't go around corners? Fine. I'm gonna do this. As soon as I get my turn. Oh, Glyco's not gonna move, though. Oh, that made Necro's coming around back to... Uh, this is kind of a bad situation, I don't like this. We keep missing. Luckily, if Sparky just keeps spamming double team, we should be fine. And if it's not stupid and keeps using Thundershock. Oh my god. Why are our teammates all stupid? Uh, I'm gonna have to toss an Orin Berry to you unless we want our new team member to die again, twice in one dungeon. Oh my god. Why is Sparky like this? Why? Sparky's always like the, the butt of like the stupid moments in all the dungeons. You guys remember that time when he was just like spamming double team like eight times across a room? Even though there was like nobody there? Whatever, I'll take the brunt of this attack. Oh my god, you don't need to keep spamming double team. You don't need to keep hitting Thundershock. Oh my god. Maybe I need to go and fish more yellow gummies to give to Sparky, because apparently he's stupid. Oh god. Is he gonna do anything? Is he just like out of PP on everything? There's no way, right? Oh my god, he is. Okay, no wonder. Oh my god. I need to do this, or else we're going to die. Okay. We literally just need to survive one more floor. I'm pretty sure. I don't actually know the floor count of this place, but I'm pretty sure that it's 10. As in, the music just cut out, so it is 10. So, this is going to become a mainstay of longer dungeons now. Is uh, We are going to get a save point, and we are going to get healed, I believe, if we look at all of our PP. They're all healed. Uh, we're all healed all the way. I'm actually not going to take the save because even though that dungeon was quite long, I feel kind of bad leaving this in two parts. So we're going to take on the rest of the dungeon as well. There's not that much left, luckily. This will be happening later in other dungeons, and those will be longer, but we're going to go ahead and go on. This is why I was fishing and was not going to use that max elixir for the longest time. Let's see. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, you guys need to make it over here. Okay, that was kind of... Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Sparky. You're left behind. You better not die. 
Which, considering our teammates are kind of dumb, thank you. Okay, I have no idea where Sparky is going. Also, I'm glad that we missed Mud Slap every single time. It's not that inaccurate, it's like 95%, right? Super effective hit, did 2 damage. Okay, um, yeah, Sparky better not, like, lose. Probably won't, because still has Quick Attack. Okay, yeah, one more Quick Attack should do it. Oh my god, can you please, like, meet up with us? Gold Gummy? Isn't this for Electric types? Or yellow. Gold is for Psychic. Uh, good. You might need this, because apparently you're really dumb, and I can't... Okay, yeah, there we go. You have to combine... If you want to look in diagonal directions, you have to combine Y and R. This is for electric types, right? Yes. Oh my god, you dodged it. Really awesome. Thank you. IQ went up significantly. You didn't learn any new skills, but hopefully you're less dumb now. So I'm kind of hoping that Gligar can kind of tank some of the electric types here, considering it's part ground type. But, I don't know. Oh, here's a pink gummy. Is this for... This can't be for psychics, right? It's poison, okay. Um, oh, we actually do have a poison type Pokemon with us right now. Maybe I ought to use it on him? I don't know. I might want to wait for other poison types that I like more. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Gligar, but it's the truth. You're cool. I think you have a cool Gen 4 evolution. Where am I going next? It's up here. I need to, like, focus on actually clearing the dungeon. Full clearing a dungeon under a goddess with no believers. I don't know why I'm just saying random light all the time. Wow, that return did 5 damage. Uh, apparently, I need to get higher IQ from <laughs> I have to rush if I want that to actually do damage. That was kind of pitiful. Maybe, maybe giving it return was not the best choice. We're gonna continue through Mount Thunder Peak. We are almost to the end. Is that another normal gummy? Oh my god. Okay, it does not have lightning rock for its ability. I thought it did. Yeah, it's a white gummy. Learn the IQ skill non-trader. I think I know what this does, actually. I believe this is if this Pokemon is confused. Uh, oops, it's up here. It will not attack its teammates. Yes, or is cowering. Wildly thrown attacks will not hit friends. Uh, that can be good. Because, obviously, uh, he's a physical attacker. And, uh... Oh, wait, what am I saying? I'm saying, like, this is, like, main series Pokemon games. Um, yeah, basically... His attacks do a lot of damage, he's more like a like a physical damage dealer, and I'm I think Mudkip has higher special defense, I wanna say. I'm gonna explore the dungeon floor a bit. So those attacks are they're gonna hurt. They're gonna hurt a lot. Especially because they're gonna be flying type and uh Okay, no no, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying the E word. It's not going to happen. I need to stop saying it. Because it's going to be a long time. Oh my god, that combo is so nice. It does so much damage. It's like 50 damage off of a Peck. Peck's not even like a strong flying type move. Like, it's it's weak. <laughs> Ooh, level up. Skipper grew level. Alright. Wow, we get a lot of XP in here then. Because we walked in with like 5,000 XP the next level. Because uh, I, I went through the training dungeons, I might actually show a little clip of it. The enemies were giving me like 6 experience each, like it was so low. Um, okay, my bell is good, I'm just gonna escape. This is the summit. Hey Zapdos, where are you? We came to rescue Shiftry, come out! I warned you, I have no mercy for meddlers. Not scared. Y you don't frighten me. Hey Zapdos, release Shiftry! We're a Pokemon rescue team. 
You must be determined to utter such words. Then you shall answer. To my great and righteous fury! And here we go, Sparky in a kind of bad position. We are fighting Zapdos now! Zapdos is going to be by far the strongest Pokemon you have fought so far. It is a level 25, I believe, which is really freaking strong. And, uh, of course, Zapdos is uh, just an incredible Pokemon outright. It's extremely strong, extremely fast. It's kind of... It's definitely the best of the three legendary birds in Gen 1, and that is no different in Mystery Dungeon. Uh, now... Let me go ahead and just... I'm just gonna toss the Gravel Rock. I, it's 99. Let's just see. It did 20 damage. Okay, that's not great. Oh, okay, we just have 99 of them. I forgot how Gravel Rocks worked, apparently. Uh, now... Orbs, like always, uh, Wonder Orb's not gonna work in boss fights, so... Uh, okay, I don't know what happened to Sparky right there. Um, Zapdos is a flying type, it is electric flying, which means it won't take a lot of damage from this. I don't know what that little status effect that's happening is. Uh, okay, yeah, I want everybody to move towards. Okay, agility is bad. Agility is really, really bad, you don't want to see this. Uh, so I want to try and lower its accuracy more, so it stops hitting, because things from this are going to hurt. Uh, 62 damage off that Thundershock, normal damage. Leer Peck is going to do a lot. We're doing some pretty good damage output. Um, I think its accuracy is low enough, I'm going to start hitting some water guns for damage. We're looking pretty good in this fight. A Paralyze is really good, Paralyze is exactly what you want to see. And there you go, classic Fury attack from Hakabashi to, to close it all out. And you grew a level. Learn Harden, that's pretty terrible. And complete silence as we see the stats go up. And Hakabashi grew a level, wow. Not just one, but two. Oh, what is going on? You want more? I'll take you on. Enough. That's enough fighting. I've calmed down. Take Shiftery back. You kids, you've impressed me. But things won't be this easy next time. I'll go all out next time, so you'd best be prepared. Until then, you'd better hone your skills. Oh, look, there's Shiftery! Are you okay? Uh, yeah, somehow I am. <laughs> I'm glad you're safe. But that was an eye-opener. Driving off that Zapdos. I agree. You're awfully strong for a plain Mudkip. I sensed it when we first met. Perhaps. You aren't a Pokemon, are you? What? How can you tell that? But you're right, Skipper isn't a Pokemon. Skipper's a human. What? A human? Is that possible? Can something like that happen? Skipper doesn't understand very much either. Skipper woke up one morning here as a Pokemon, and doesn't remember anything about being a human. Oh, wait. Lombri said something in the square. He said Alakazam knows everything. Alakazam, could you figure out why Skipper became a Pokemon? No. I can't determine that. Oh, I, I thought you would know. However, there is a way for unveiling the truth. Oh, really? How? Make way to the Hill of the Ancients. There you will find a Pokémon that stares into the sun all day. A Pokémon who is said to see into the future. Zatu is his name. He should shed light on your puzzling friend. Okay, so we should go see Zatu. Skipper, let's go! Off to the Hill of the Ancients! We can't waste any time, let's go back quick! Shiftry, you too. Let's hurry back. Um, yeah. I guess we should. Skipper! Don't just stand there, let's go home! Alakazam, I know you. I don't think you're completely ignorant about this. You know something, don't you? There's something that concerns me. But it should go unspoken for now. For their sake. Would you like to save your adventure? Actually, I would.
And we begin our days the same as always. Waking up, getting out of our bed. Skipper, good morning. Yesterday I did some checking around. Turns out that Hilly Ancients is apparently in the Great Canyon. We should go there right away, off to the Great Canyon. Huh? What's the matter? Um, it's nothing. Huh? Weren't you about to ask me something? What's the matter? Go on, say it. Why do you try so hard? Why? What? You need to ask? It's for someone else. Someone else? Come on, what do you think I am? We're friends, aren't we, Skipper? I want to do my best because it's for you, Skipper. That's what this is about, so as always, let's try to do our best. That's not what he said, but I didn't read right. <laughs> Well, that's going to be all for this episode. We got a lot done this episode. Rescuing Shiftery from Mount Thunder and frankly trashing <laughs> trashing Zapdos like no tomorrow. So we got a lot done this episode and we're going to get even more done next time. So I'll see you guys next time. That was stupid. How do I still not know how to end episodes? How do I still not know this? There's like no good outro for this. Whatever. I'll see you next time. So the Pokemon that we see here in Mount Thunder this time are actually ones we've seen before uh, quite a bit actually because a lot of the Pokemon in Oddity Cave are ones that appear in Mount Thunder. Uh, the reason I did the optional dungeons in this order is because Oddity Cave you unlock in the remake right after Mount Seal, so that's why I did it then. So uh, if you're accomplishing the dungeons in the order that makes sense with the leveling, you'll probably see the Oddity Cave ones after Mount Thunder, which means that this would be their first appearance. All the other optional dungeons in the game will be after the credits roll, so we don't have to worry about that again. But we're gonna start off with Cacnea. Cacnea is kind of just a weird grass type. It has Sand Veil, which is a really terrible ability in Mystery Dungeon. Weather effects are just uh, almost non-existent in Mystery Dungeon. The moves that cause weather conditions I believe the TMs for them don't exist in Mystery Dungeon. It's, it's either that or the moves themselves don't exist. I'll have to check up on that later, but um, basically weather effects are just awful. Cacnea's stats aren't too bad at least. 85 base attack and special attack are not too bad, but its type is not exactly conducive to mixed attacking and its speed... Uh, why did I say speed? I'm, I'm thinking of normal Pokemon. The rest of its stats are just honestly pretty bad. So Cacnea, uh, it's, it's okay at best. Next we have Electrike, another Pokemon that if it did the E word, I could definitely highly recommend. It has two great abilities, which are Static and Lightning Rod. Uh, static is definitely really fun in Mystery Dungeon. I feel like it procs sometimes way more in Mystery Dungeon. I don't know, I think we've only seen it proc one time on Pikachu this entire time, so. Uh, and its stats aren't too bad, the 65 special attack is not... Uh, it's not winning any awards, but you know, it's pretty decent, Electric's a great type. Electrike. I mean, he's a cute little puppy, at least. Next we have Gligar. Gligar is a very strange Pokemon indeed. It is ground flying type. Now, in the main series Pokemon games, this would be one of the main draws of using Gligar. Ground and flying means it has two immunities, both to electric and ground, which is pretty strong to have two immunities. That's two types that you can freely switch into in the main series Pokemon games. In Mystery Dungeon, of course, because immunities don't work the same, it's good, but not quite as good. As well, its abilities... Uh, Sand Veil, as we said before, is, is pretty useless, but Hyper Cutter is actually an incredible ability. It means that your attack set cannot be reduced, which means with this thing's base 75 attack set, it's gonna be dealing some pretty good damage, and that 1 of 5 base defense is really nice to have. That is a, a pretty beefy number. Now, of course, it doesn't do the E-word, because it's it's E-word Lucian. Uh, I guess E-word Shin. Uh, does not exist in this generation, so uh, even even later on when we get the ability to E-word, it's still just going to be just this guy. So what you see is what you get, but actually it's not so bad in this game compared to the rest of the main series Pokemon game. Next we have a Gen 1 Classic. This is Growlithe. Growlithe is one of the original fire types. Uh, definitely has some pretty incredible abilities as well. Intimidate, it's not quite as almost game-breakingly powerful as it is in the main series Pokemon games, where uh, in the main series Pokemon games, when you switch out a, when you switch in a Pokemon with Intimidate, it lowers the foe's attack really, really strong. In this one, it only procs whenever a foe makes contact. Uh, actually, I don't think it has to make contact. I think it just has to be when attacked, because that would be kind of bad otherwise. Its stats are middling at best. I mean, the 70 base special attack is really the best you're going to do on a fire type, so it's just kind of normal. But, I mean, Yet another cute puppy. Next, the second half of the duo that we saw introduced earlier, I 
believe in Silent Chasm. We have Nidoran Male this time. Uh, Nidoran Male is just kind of a generic poison type. It has Poison Point, which is not really a great ability, and its stats are terrible, so that's Nidoran. Uh, it's, it's drawn in the main series Pokemon games that you can evolve it really early with the use of an item, but um, of course we're not going to be able to do that in this game. I'm really, really tired of saying that, and sadly it's going to keep going on for quite a while, but also I actually said evolve right there, I didn't say E-word, wow. Next up, Pidgeotto. I think this is one of the rare cases in Mystery Dungeon where we actually see an evolved Pokemon that we can recruit before its pre-evolution, uh, because we haven't seen Pidgey yet. Uh, but Pidgeotto is the original, like, <laughs> overused typing of normal flying that a lot of just bird Pokemon have. Uh, Keen Eye, at least, is actually a fantastic ability in Mystery Dungeon. Accuracy lowering uh, lasts for a long time in this game, and it's very, very annoying. And its stats are great. Uh, well, they're pretty good at least, I wouldn't call them great. Sadly, it has a recruit rate of negative 19%. We are not going to be able to recruit this for a long time. Uh, as I said before, Pokemon with negative recruitment rates like this, don't worry, we will get the ability to recruit them later. Uh, but as it stands, we really just can't do anything about that. We have a very interesting case of a Pokemon up next. It's Stantler. This is yet another Pokemon game. I don't know how this keeps happening to this Pokemon, where uh, in the main series Pokemon game, Stantler is kind of just a generic, terrible, normal type, but uh, it gets saved in being in one of the side games like this and actually being a pretty usable Pokemon, that other game being Coliseum, by the way. I think it's Coliseum. It's either Coliseum or XD. I'm pretty sure it's Colo, though. Uh, it has the pretty good ability of Intimidate. Uh, again, not as good in the main series games, but it is a Actually, it's not so bad, Mystery Dungeon at least, and its stats are actually really good, and unlike Pidgeotto, you can actually recruit it, because it has 7.2% recruit rate, which is, uh, you know, fairly easy to do. But Stantler would be a terrible Pokemon in the main series Pokemon games, but uh, yet another side game where this thing is actually fairly usable.